Welcome to I Question PH. That today's question is What are angiosperms or flowering plants? Plants have two main categories the angiosperms and gymnosperms. Both are seed bearing plants having few similarities. Angiosperms, also known as flowering plants, have seeds enclosed within their fruit. Whereas, gymnosperms have no flowers or fruits and have naked seeds on the surface of their leaves. Today, we will discuss further what flowering plants are. Flowering plants dominate the Earth's vegetation. Forests, grasslands, deserts, and tundra composed chiefly of flowering plants. Nearly all of the Earth's crop plants, garden plants, and ornamentals are also flowering plants. Therefore, they are the most important ultimate source of food for birds and mammals, including humans. Flowering plants reproduce sexually through a process called pollination. The flowers contain both male reproductive organs and female reproductive organs. The four special parts of flowering plants are the sepals, petals, stamen, and pistil. The sepals, collectively known as the calyx, enclose and protect the flower as it develops. They are usually small and green and are located at the base of the flower. Just above the sepals are the petals, collectively known as the corolla, which are attractively colored to attract pollinators. The male reproductive part of a flower is the stamen. It has a long stalk called the filament and a tip called the anther. The pollen grains are found in the anther. The female reproductive part is the pistil or carpel. It is made up of the stigma, style, and ovary. The opening of the pistil is the stigma. It has a sticky or feathery quality that enables it to capture and collect pollen. The pollen tube goes down through a long neck-like structure called the style until it reaches the ovary. At the base of the pistil is the ovary which houses the egg cells. Flowers may be complete or incomplete and perfect and imperfect. A complete flower has all the main parts, the petals, the sepals, the stamen, and pistil. While an incomplete flower lacks one, or more of the main flower parts. A perfect flower has both stamen and pistil. And an imperfect flowers lack either a stamen or a pistil. The most important part in the reproduction of angiosperms takes place within the flower. Pollen, a yellow powder that contains sperm cells, is transferred from the anther of the stamen to the stigma of the pistil through pollination. Since pollen cannot move on its own, pollinators such as bees, birds, and other insects and animals help out. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time!